I got my interest in Shodo first, way back in when I was in high school, thanks to a book which I still read today called Zen Flesh, Zen Bones, by an author named Paul Reps, who also experimented with brushwork. What interested me about Zen and the, the short stories and the koans that they would use for meditation was the way in which they would solve the problem of opposites. You had um, discipline and spontaneity, both at and, not either or, both discipline and spontaneity, usually treated as totally separate. You have one or the other, but in this case, you need them both, and this was the perfect practical way to study through Shodo. Shodo is a practical way to balance opposites. Opposites such as shapes and space. You also have wet strokes and dry strokes, large and small. And you have calm movement and active movement. The character might look poised in space, it might be seen to be running or dancing. And all of this is an expression of mind, body, and spirit that comes out through your instrument, which is the brush. Shodo is practiced in three phases, very much like learning a musical instrument. You start with what you might think of as a score, which would be a famous classical work from calligraphy. And you take this score and you copy it as precisely as you can. This is extremely difficult, but it teaches you all kinds of skills. And this is, think of this as like practicing a musical score. Then when you actually go to the second phase, it's more like performing a piece of music where you may or may not have the score hand at hand, but in fact you interpret the score. You give it your own personality. You might change some parts of it, but you are basically performing a piece of music or painting a piece of shodo which was created originally by somebody else. Then you reach the third phase in which you become the composer you actually create something totally original without having anything to copy. And this is pretty exciting because what happens is you have to draw on your other senses. You might draw on the sense of smell. You might put on some music and try to perform, say, your piece to jazz or classical music. Uh, or you might draw on your memories, something from your experience. And what you come out with is something that has no likeness anywhere in the world. Only one, and it's yours. <laughs>